Hi, today I want to talk about the best-selling wireless router on Amazon.com, which is currently this uh, TP-Link Archer A7 version 5. So let's have a closer look, shall we? It's an 802.11 AC or Wi-Fi 5 wireless router with a combined theoretical speed of 1750 megabits per second. As far as the design, it looks rather nice and simple. I mean, there's nothing too crazy about it, which is alright and I like it. On the front, we have the LED lights and on the back, we have all the ports and buttons. Which means we have one internet port, four LAN ports, one USB 2 port, and a power button, a reset button, and a Wi-Fi on and off button. There are three fixed antennas as well. I actually just made another video where I showed how I installed and did the basic configuration for this wireless router to make sure the wired and wireless networks are up and running and also the basic security is actually in place. Uh, if you're interested in that video, the link is there also in the video description. I mean, a lot of information in that video might still apply for other wireless routers as well because the concept is actually the same. It is just the menus and user interface that is different. But in this video, we're going to be actually focusing on the features and capabilities of this wireless router. And hopefully by the end of the video, we have an idea whether um, this could be the right wireless router for my network, for my house or not. So let's begin. First, let's have a look at the hardware. This router has a 750 megahertz Atheros processor with 128 megabytes of RAM and 16 megabytes of flash storage. It's a dual band wireless router, so there's a 2.4 GHz and a 5 GHz wireless network. The maximum theoretical throughput is 1750 megabits per second. I can also have up to two guest networks for my guests. By default, it is obviously a wireless router, but I can also change its operation mode and use it as an access point as well. Unfortunately, it cannot be a repeater or a client breach. But something else that it can be, and I was honestly surprised to know about it, is actually the VPN server. It can be a PPTP VPN server and also an open VPN server. I mean, if you follow my channel, you probably know how much I like the open VPN server and how much I actually use it for different purposes. It also has quality of service, which is another cool feature to have. However, you shouldn't expect a very professional level of quality of service. Basically, all that can be done is to prioritize internet traffic for specific devices to make sure they get faster connections. And that's pretty much it. There is also a USB port, which I can use it to connect a USB hard disk drive and share the drive throughout my network. Or I can also use the drive for offline download, which means without using a computer which has to be powered on all the time, I can use the router itself to download files directly to the drive. I'm also able to, um, or better say, I used to be able to connect a USB printer and share the printer throughout the network. But to my surprise, after I upgraded the firmware, that option is actually gone. So it looks like the TP-Link Archer A7 no longer can be used as a print server. But why exactly they removed this feature or whether it's going to be back or not in the future, unfortunately that's something I wouldn't know. But if you ask me, I would say it is actually very unfortunate that they removed the feature that probably many people relied on when they first bought this wireless router. So after the firmware upgrade, I lost one feature and I actually gained another one, which is one mesh and it is the mesh network for the TP-Link wireless routers and range extenders. So the idea is if you already own a supported one mesh TP-Link wireless router and you need to find a solution to extend the range of your Wi-Fi and set up a whole home Wi-Fi system, instead of just replacing your router with a whole new Wi-Fi ecosystem, you can add a supported one mesh device to your current wireless network and have yourself a whole home Wi-Fi system which is gonna cost you less than buying a whole new ecosystem. If you remember, I actually have some videos about the ASUS AI Mesh system, which is actually the whole home Wi-Fi system for the ASUS wireless routers. And I've done some interesting tests. Um, I'll put the link to those videos in the video description. Hopefully we can do the same thing for the One Mesh as well. 
there's also parental control which I can use it to block some content for a specific device or maybe a group of devices. I can also set daily time limits for the total time that can be spent online or specify a time period for when they cannot access the internet. There's another interesting feature called Smart Life Assistant and if I enable it then I can control and customize my home network by giving simple voice commands to Amazon Alexa. For example, I can tell Alexa to prioritize the internet connection of my laptop or to switch off the router's LED lights. I can even tell her to read out the password of the guest Wi-Fi. Interesting. Um, honestly, I'm actually impressed with the features that are available in this wireless router, which is around $65 on Amazon. I'll put the link below in case you want to check it out yourself. But of course, this is not a high-end wireless router with high-end wireless technology. And if somebody is looking for that kind of a router, this is not the one for them. But if somebody is actually on a budget or looking for an inexpensive wireless router for a small to medium size apartment or house for a simple everyday internet use, this could be the right choice for them. Because, first of all, in my opinion, it is actually very easy to set up and configure. I mean, if you have worked with this wireless router or if you have watched the video where I configured it, then you probably know that yourself. Also, on top of being a dual band wireless router with gigabit internet and LAN ports, it also has some cool features as well, such as OpenVPN server, quality of service, parental control, file sharing, offline download, and one mesh. I can even connect it to Amazon Alexa and make some changes in my network by just giving voice commands to Alexa. So as far as the performance, we already know this is not a very high-end wireless router. So the expectation should not be that high either. But let me tell you this, I actually replaced my ASUS AC68U wireless router with this guy almost one week ago. And ever since, honestly, I hardly noticed any difference in terms of uh, range and speed uh, for my everyday internet use. Don't get me wrong though, I'm actually not trying to say that the TP-Link Archer A7 uh, is going to have the same performance as the ASUS AC68U uh, because the ASUS has a faster processor and more RAM. So if I really put them to the test, then probably I will see the difference. So I guess what I'm actually trying to say is that although the TP-Link Archer A7 uh, hardware wise and technology wise is not among the highest end wireless routers, based on my experience with with it so far and based on the features that are available in it I would say it could be a good choice for a lot of people who don't necessarily need very fast and powerful wireless routers because maybe they don't have super busy networks where a lot of devices need to be online at the same time and they just need a wireless router for a simple and small to medium size home network. But yes, I know, I wish the USB port was USB 3 and not USB 2. Also, I wish the print server option was not gone. But I mean on the plus side, it has a very reasonable price tag, which is actually very important. So I guess when I actually consider everything, it makes sense to me why this is the best selling wireless router on Amazon right now. An affordable wireless router which is simple and easy to configure with many useful features. So hopefully I can put it to the test to better understand its performance and behavior in different situations and maybe then I can better compare it with my ASUS wireless router. But until then, thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you liked it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, share it if you think others might like it too and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you again and I will see you next time.